This is Brian from B's Music Shop, and I'm here at the 2024 Anaheim NAMM Show with Tom, all the way from Latvia. Game changer audio, probably. Always never know what you're going to do. I have no idea what this does. I saw the email, didn't have time to read it because I'm oh. here. I didn't read it. I didn't read it. But it's like some kind of, like, I don't, I, I don't it's a, know. It's one of those yeah. things. It doesn't shoot lightning. But it, it doesn't says something out. So you want to tell me about these pedals you just came out with? Yeah. So we took a break from uh, creating products that shoot lightning, and uh, you still make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there are going to be more products that shoot lightning, but for now, we wanted to do our own like basic series of pedals. Yeah. Um, because you know sometimes you also need those in your life, right? Yes. Just a basic chorus, basic delay, and basic reverb. And when I think basic, I think game changer. Sure. But right. so this is basic, but this is probably yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's gonna have something else. Yeah, like always with us, we, we try to squeeze there, squeeze in something something special. So the special part is that uh, even though these, uh, from sound perspective, these are basic but good sounding yes. uh, effects. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, and each each pedal has four basic parameter knobs. The cool thing is that each of the pedals also has pitch tracker, which listens to the notes that I'm playing and dynamic, dynamic tracker, which listens to how loud I'm playing. And so both of these output a control signal that can be routed to any of the four main parameter knobs. So I'm playing this guitar. Wow, that's super cool. Yeah, exactly. So I'm playing the guitar and not only am I creating sound from the guitar and amp, but I'm also directly controlling the pedals. With right? an envelope, say like how an auto wall works, but you're allowing yeah, exactly. me to assign like an exactly. auto wall feel to a delay or a verb or a chorus. Yeah, if, if it, in terms of like an auto wall, it would be controlling the frequency of a bandpass pin filter. With the dynamics. Yeah, exactly. But here you can choose what you modulate, Much right? Much more powerful. So let's let's take an example. Uh, reverb is the, um, the easiest one to demo because you okay. can instantly hear what's going on. Um, so yeah, let's take a listen. This is the basic reverb sound. I have it set it up kind of high, kind of long. Big and lush reverb, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, and these are stereo in, stereo out, so you should be hearing stereo reverb now. Yes, we're getting it. And so I have used this patch cable here, and, and the patch cables are included in the box, to route the, the dynamics output to the level knob. And so this tiny knob below the level knob tells me how much this knob is going to be virtually turned. Yeah. So in the center position, there's not going to be any effect. If I, if I turn it clockwise, the knob will be virtually turned this way as I play louder. Yes. And if I turn it counterclockwise, the knob will be virtually turned this way as I play louder. And so now I can press the second foot switch to engage the modulation. So now this dynamics is sending an output to this knob and listen what it happens when I play louder. The reverb kind of gets out of the way. Yeah. And now back to soft play. So it just gives you like a really easy way to give yourself way more control over everything else on the pedal. And you can route it to any of these knobs then, right? Exactly, so you can modulate all four knobs at the same time. So pitch has two outputs and dynamics has two outputs. And they're just copies of the same thing. Yeah. So you can modulate all four knobs at the same time. Uh, realistically speaking, once you get, start modulating two knobs, it's already kind of out yeah. there. But I mean, you know, it's your the imagination is you're the only limitation. And it doesn't have to be like an extreme modulation. Sometimes you just need to adjust the parameter just a tiny bit yeah. for, to get a cool effect. So for example, here, let's let's try the chorus out. So chorus, chorus currently is set to flanger. Oh yeah, and every pedal has three, di three different algorithms. Oh so chorus God. has basic, uh, basic chorus and simul chorus and uh, flanger, right? I have set it to flanger, and um, it's kind of fast flanger, but the feedback is set fairly low, so it doesn't start 
sounding uh, like a wack, like a wacky thing. Let's crank the feedback for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> that is when feedback is cranked. It's a cool wacky sound, but you wouldn't want to hear that all the time. Yeah. So what I have done here, I, ha I have routed the pitch outputs to this knob, and I'm modulating the hell out of it. Right. Yes. Currently is bypassed, so now I can. Uh, so engage this turns on the this. both modulations. Yes. So without the mod foot switch engage, it's just the basic effect. That's awesome. Yeah, and so you can you can have it pre-patched, all the modulation amount knobs set how you want them, and then turn it on when you actually need it. And so if I have set it up correctly, I should get uh, this feedback sound only on high notes. I can set the center pitch above which I want to get that modulation. So currently I have set it to this E, e note. So if yeah. I hit this E, I get modulation. If and I you set it with this knob, right? Yeah, you can set it with the long press of this foot switch. Oh, okay. So for example, now I, I can change it to this B note, which is not getting any of the feedback sound. So let's... And now the B note is getting the modulation. That's so easy to set. That's really cool. Yeah, just with a long press. So it's easy when this is actually on a pedal board, not up on a up on a desk. Yeah. Another example, let's try the let's try the delay. Everybody knows like the sound when you get uh, when you start turning the, the time knob. Yeah. Especially with a lot of repeats, you know. The the, the sound that's uh, is being used to end every second uh, garage yeah. rock jam band gig, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing a version of, of this now here. I have, I'm routing the dynamics to the time knob, but I'm modulating it just a tiny bit. So here is the center position and I'm just turning it ever so slightly. And so now when I play a loud chord, the time knob is going to be virtually turned back, but just a tiny bit and this so here's, I'm playing softly. Let's turn off the reverb for a second there. That's so cool. Now the modulation is happening too quickly for me. Yeah. So I have to really be careful so I can dial back the dynamics knob and that should tame it. Yeah, so now I can easily play with a steady tempo of the delay. And when I'm ready for that wacky sound, I just play a really loud chord. That's so, so, that's so cool. So both the pitch and dynamics can be done even more like fine tunes to match the output from the guitar. Some guitars will have a lot of sustain, some guitars will have not that much of sustain. So you can make these work with what you're playing and you're actual playing style. That's so cool. Yeah. What does the sum and the alt do here? Sorry. So this... sum and alt are two different versions of how the modulation happens. And so the sum mode is the one that I was explaining before, yeah. is that this is the center position. Okay, okay. And so we're modulating away from the center position. Okay. And the alternative mode is that the, these small knobs uh, below the main knobs become it's like like another reset. That makes total sense. Sorry, so that didn't when, click with me. When but I that's turn on the modulation, that. we're jumping to this value, and then when we're modulating, we're returning to the center that's value. That's so smart. You're that actually, you, Yeah, that is cool. Actually, I think you're the first one who actually asked about that. Kudos. I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not quick, so I got to ask a lot of questions. Yeah, cool, cool. That, and it's cool, and it, and it gives you two different ways to decide how this works. I mean, it, you're basically allowing people, there's a lot of wacky pedals out there, but they're completely pre-designed in the algorithm before you get them. Yeah, yeah. You've sort of pulled, I mean, quite literally pulled the middle routing out and given you control over how, how those things go and where. That's so, so interesting and cool. You know, like back in the day when you didn't have like this wide variety of pedals available, you pretty much had to live with like Bach, Boss, Maxon, yeah. and that kind of stuff, and so you could you you were able to experiment by you know switching up the signal routing, like which pedal comes first, yeah, and do that kind of sort of try to make interesting things with minimal gear, right? Yeah, and so this is 
not in the, not minimal in, in the same way as boss pedals are minimal, but it's it has that kind of attitude, right? Yeah. Instead of creating a new wacky sound, we're just taking basic sounds and combining them with unique interfaces. You're giving you like a cool patch bay yeah. that allows you to kind of move it around how you want. And yeah. so you're still experimenting with, with cables, right? So now maybe instead of experimenting with a signal pad, you're experimenting with a, a control signal pad within each pedal. But you can also cross-modulate them. And cross-modulation comes in handy when you have more, when you have, first of all, more so more than one mod pedal. Wait, so cross-modulation, so I can take this so pedal yeah. and control this pedal. So, yeah, so if you take a longer cable, like this one right here, you could go from this. Oh, you're in this. Yeah, from this to here, right? Yeah. And so this is useful when you have more than one mod pedal, first of all, and you have pedals in between. So let's say we had the fuzz pedal right here, right? Yeah. So fuzz destroys dynamics. It sounds awesome, but it destroys dynamics. Yeah. It's just quiet or loud. That makes a ton of sense, and so you can so, skip over it. Yeah, and so dynamics will respond differently in this part of the signal chain than here. So this pedal will hear my clean signal, which is very dynamic. This will hear the dynamics of the fuzz. And there are no dynamics, right? And so I can use the clean dynamics that I have at this part of the signal chain and route them elsewhere. So can I ask another question? Could I set the pitch of this one to one note and the pitch of this one to another note and then route them both to control this one? So like, let's say this, this, this pitch triggers when you're yeah, up yeah, here yeah, yeah. and then one triggers in the middle so I can have it when it gets halfway up, this kicks in and when I get higher up, another thing kicks in? Yeah, sure, sure. You can experiment with these kind of things. Dude, and, that's so cool. And, and if that's you so cool. are familiar with your synthesis, yeah, yeah. Um, then you can integrate other equipment in here because these control voltages uh, follow the Eurex standard. Oh wow! Yeah, so they so are standard. So if you're if you're to five volts, yeah, if you're yeah. one of the guys that has two hundred of these in your yeah, house, yeah, yeah. you're in luck. And for those people, uh, the inputs can take your level, so you don't need an attenuator between oh, before man. these. And so you can integrate it's, these in your synth setup without a, any other external gear. And, and it's got a MIDI clock in too. Yeah, for the delay, obviously it needs a MIDI clock so it can be synced to something else. Um, so it is through stereo ins and outs. The top jack can be used as a stereo if you use a TRS cable. And uh, yeah, so on another like that's already like a very tiny detail, but this level knob can change what it does. So here in most cases I was using it as a send level into the effect. How much of the guitar signal we're sending into the reverb, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But it can also be like a mix between dry and wet. So in, uh, if I'm modulating on reverb this knob, it will be very different if it's uh, sent into the reverb or output from the reverb that I'm controlling the volume of. So in one case, I'm controlling how much I'm sending into the reverb and the tails don't get, you know, attenuated. But if I'm modulating the output from the reverb, I can create a gated reverb or a decking reverb, that sort of thing. I'm starting to think you're not from Latvia. You're from like 10 years in the future, and this is all just a Still cover. From Latvia, just 10 years in the future. Yeah, yeah. This is right. how Latvia looks in 10 yeah, years. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna be like uh, Wakanda if I ever go there, where I'm just gonna be like everything is I'm way farther along. It's so cool, man. You guys always have like the you're always thinking, and it's so cool. Like you also think about the user. It's not like there's so many ways to make things more complicated. Yeah. And you come up with something that is complicated, but is very easy to just go with. You know. Yeah. Well, once you get, once you understand the idea behind the dynamics and and and, and, and yeah, the pitch tracking, it makes total sense. And once you, once you understand the relationship between the big knobs and small knobs, yeah. it's easy. And then all the pedals in the series will have the same formula, exactly the same formula. So if you're into like getting into the series, like more than one pedal. Once you learn one, you know them all. Collect so, them all. Collect them all, exactly. And so we're starting with these three pedals right here, but we are going to release more pedals in the future. There's yeah. also going to be like drive, fuzz units, maybe a pitch shifter, maybe- Oh, a, pitch shifter, you gotta do yeah, a pitch maybe shifter. maybe a compressor. You know, it's like whatever, whatever Boss and Maxon released back in the 90s, there should be a mod version of it, you know? Yeah. I still to this day want to know everything you guys decided was too crazy to make. That's my that's the that's in the vault of Game Changer I want to see someday. I want to see some like steam powered vibrato unit that you're just like we can't. We got we got to do something else, guys. We we also do we do have bad ideas as well. <laughs>
Yeah, they're, but I bet they're good, like good bad ideas. They're like they're, crazy bad ideas. They're good bad ideas. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah I wish yeah. some of the bad ideas were actually, you know, they became products. But you know, yeah. Maybe no, someday. Everything Maybe you guys something. make is so Maybe quality, something. so fun. Like I say, this is so straightforward and user friendly. And at first glance, you're like, what is this? And then you spend two seconds yeah. with it and it clicks. It just clicks. Yeah, so even though it is, even though it works with the whole URAC modular synthesis stuff, if you're not into that kind of stuff, if you want to kind of keep it simple, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to think about exact voltages or anything like that. You really actually have to think about playing the guitar. Yeah. And that is the cool part. And it kind of also forces you to explore the dynamics of your playing. Yeah. Like things that sometimes you maybe don't think about it. I mean, pros do think about it all the time. Yeah. But like, if you're an like average guitar player like myself, this kind of makes you think about your playing dynamics even more than you did until now. Or like say, like somebody like me, like like all these modular synths, I've always like thought about getting into the world and I haven't really decided like, what, how, where do I want to start? Like something like this, I could get a few of these things and then get another piece to add to this and it would kind of get my foot in the door without just having to jump in and spend 2,000 bucks and go, I can make it go boop, boop, yeah, boop. Because yeah. that's my fear. I'm going to buy a bunch of stuff and then it's going to go boop, boop, which might be all they ever do. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't know, but it is, it is a cool world and I've never really dived into it, but something like this would make me want to kind of get my foot in the door and kind of look into yeah, it. Exactly. So. For the guitar player that has been curious about Eurex, yeah, exactly. like I was uh, like three years ago, this could probably be like a good starting point just to, just to experiment how, how it is to, you know, to fine tune the, a parameter and then figure out how you want to modulate it. Yeah. It's, it's all about simple things that have advanced control over them. You yeah. Know? And that's what Eurex is all about. So if, yeah. you're in, if you're curious about that, this could be a nice way how to experiment with it, with awesome. something that you actually know and love yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. are in control of, you know? Awesome. Well, hey, Tom, thanks so much for talking to us, man. I always love talking to you about a million things. It's, it's always nice to see you, Brian. I know. I came up to you yesterday and was like, hey, we're going to do an interview tomorrow. You're like, hi, how you've been? I'm like, oh, the you know. friendliest store out there. I have to say that. We, t we talk tractors. We've talked tractors. Yeah, yeah. Our families, because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I rebuild all those vintage farm malls, and then you're like, we have, my, you know, my grandpa has one in Latvia, yeah, and we were yeah. like sending <laughs> pictures back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, I love those. I yeah. love those pictures of the red tractor. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. I got weird hobbies. This is, well, you think that you think I, this I, I is my weirdest too. hobby? Yeah, I no, yeah. Too. You're no, you're just an electrical genius, and and uh, you guys no, think of are, everything. The actual electrical geniuses. Uh, Few of them are here, few of them are home. Yeah. Uh, we have a pretty pretty cool team of engineers who comes up with this stuff. It, you have to. Everything you do is, you couldn't not go all the way. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, awesome. Thank you so much, man. Thanks Thank again, you. Brian. Bye.